for this one is the DC uh, current output. So we connect to the DC current of our testers. And then we go to the software. So software is in the special uh, the transducer modules. And then we run this one. We can select the different transducers, different transducers, single phase or three phase. And the output is the current or the voltage. And you may set the output range for the voltage at the current. <laughs> and for this one is our AC, AC meter transducer. Uh, and this is single phase or three phase the same because this is only detects the uh, VA uh, voltage. So we use any one single phase or three phase. And the output is the current and the range is zero to uh, 400. And this one, the, because this one is the uh, primary meter, so we set the uh, CT and PT ratio. Uh, the ratio is 1000 by 1 and 100 kV by 100. And uh, so here is AC meter. So we use the voltage AC. And we start from zero is 4 milliampere to 400 kV and 20. 20 amperes because our limit limitation of the output so here auto they correct the uh, max output to 300 so so here we have to use the 14 uh, 16 mini amperes because here is 300 for the max output so we use this one for testing so normally Normally here you know we can cover the uh, cover the output to the 20 milliamperes, and now we start we can use here the class class for this one is one percent, and this is stability time. The meaning is we can measurement five seconds and uh, use the average uh, value. So normally we can use five or ten seconds. Normally we use five. Then we quick add. Quick add, we can start from zero to three hundred and we can use the step is fifty as a step. Then we start from zero, fifty, hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred, two hundred fifty and three hundred. Then we start the testing. Now it starts from the first one. Okay, the first one is four mini amperes. Now we get the value is three point nine six three. And second one. So here is the assessment. So the green green Pass is pass. Okay, it's finished, and we see the report. So here is assessment pass pass. Everything is here at at. And the last one is the curve for the output. After that, we can use the report to the word report. So in word report, you see the test points are all successful. And here is the curve, dot, and every step, and setting, and the value here. So this is the transducer testing and we may save this one. Yeah. 
and close. Then with this one report, we can save, save report. Save report. Okay, that's what. So this is a transducer is easy to use. Only make sure the output for the transducer is voltage or the current. And another is a type, different type, active power, reactive power, power, and AC voltage, AC current, frequency, angle, power factor, DC voltage, DC current, single phase or three phase. And here you the match the hardware output uh, current or the voltage. If primarily we need get the primary PT and CT ratio, if secondary no need, then use the normal voltage and current. Okay. 